What's up, besties? Welcome back to Quarter Life Bliss Season 3. This is your favorite finance podcast with your financial bestie Sarah and bestie Yanni. Bakit ba okay lang maging koripot, Sarah Carlos? Yon. So with that said, bakit nga ba okay? Alam mo, honestly, I think pumapasok dito yung too much of everything is bad for you. Kasi okay lang naman maging koripot eh. There's nothing wrong with that. But may mga tao talaga na it always has to be the cheapest option yung kinukuha nila. And sobra naman yon pag ganon. Like yung dapat one dollar lang. Yung kung dapat makakansin ng store, na one dollar lang. Dollar store, dino sila. Like never sila bibili ng anything more than a dollar. May mga tao talagang ganun na ah. Like extreme. But honestly, yun nga, yun din yung mahirap sa ating mga tao eh. Hindi lang sa mga Pilipino, but to everyone, we throw around adjectives way too freely. Like, alam mo yun, like, if someone is making, kung malandi ang isang tao, ah, that's a flirt, she's a flirt. Kahit isang beses lang siya nalandi, malandi yan, ganyan, ganyan. Or like, we mag- tag people. Yeah, oh my gosh, yes, that's perfect. We we easily tag people usually with not with nothing with no other reason than we just saw them do it once sometimes we just do it saw, saw them do it once and we tag them already so that's what's difficult kasi kuripot ka nga ba talaga o napagsabihan ka lang ng kuripot ng isang tao who barely knows you diba so papasok din doon yung self awareness mo eh na dapat din i guess pag isipin mo kuripot pa talaga ako naman ni eh. ano ba yon Gusto ko mag-add muna dun sa going for the cheaper option all the time. I think it's not bad to go to the cheaper option or choose the cheaper option. But also, um, assess. Assess well. Kung yeah. dapat ba tiperin ko to. Alam mo yon yung parang mga ganong bagay. Ah, yeah. Kunari appliances, tapos bibili ka ng sobrang mura. Pero yung hassle mo naman everyday. Ganun, alam mo yun, parang ganun. Mm, yes. Sometimes being or like, for repot, hindi, um is not smart for our way of living. Exactly. Actually, here, here is a classic example. And I got this example from friends. Because Phoebe Buffet, si Phoebe, si Phoebe, she loves thrift shopping. And I, I agree with thrift shopping. Like, I think that's a good, that's a good idea for you to recycle clothes so that you don't always shop for new stuff all the time. But, I think you draw the line if you thrift shop, pati yung panty mo, bra at panty mo. Parang, diba? So, it's like, I know it's like a fun, it was supposed to be a funny episode, but they make a point. They make a good point that it's okay to be, it's okay to be savvy with your money. It's okay to be frugal with your money. But like what you said, uh, Coach Yanni, you have to assess if this is something that you should save up on. Yeah, I like what you said. And I think, um, it's just some maganda pang pag-usapan talaga when it comes to being karipot is if you have um the money the money naman to buy a better option i would say especially if alam mo yun hindi siya one time use yan katulad niya diba? or it's a personal hygiene use wag mo tipe rin sarili mo wag mo tipe rin sarili mo because baka masyado kang masanay na ganun, diba? Hanggang it becomes normal for you to be that kuripot. Exactly. And I think, um, yung hindi masyadong napopoint out sa pagiging kuripot is you forget to spend money. And natutunan ko to over the weekend that money is like air. So you breathe it in, like, hindi naman daw pwedeng, <laughs> talaga nag-breathe, nag-breathe it talaga. Hindi naman, daw, <laughs> hindi, hindi naman daw pwedeng, ano, like, Buga-buga ka lang kapag ka maglalabas ka na pero, ah, ah, ah. ba Kailangan parang inhale, exhale. Ha, so that it flows. Which makes yeah. so much sense. Kailangan, yeah. I always say that money is currency and money is energy and energy is currency and for it to flow out, for it to flow in, it has to flow out first. And sometimes people tend to hold on so much to their money to the point that gigil na gigil, wala rin nakakapasok na money. Alam mo yon. Mm-hmm. But if you're tama, tama. willing to let go and to spend your money, kailangan, pa, I mean, papasok din talaga yung pera. Alam mo yon. Easily papasok exactly. din talaga. Exactly. Like, like, parang diba yung sinasabi nila palaging love advice, 
kung para sa iyo babalik yan para sa iyo <laughs> nak so ganon like if you hold on too tight to someone eh, ayaw daman na lang maha ano magcage in talagang mawawala at mawawala yan at hindi na yung babalik but so but adding to what you said you don't just have to you you can't always just spend money you don't have though like that dun pumapas yung pag assessment natin ng mga bagay bagay like hindi porket it's the most expensive phone it's the best phone you get what i mean like yes, just because something yes, is I expensive agree. doesn't also doesn't mean it's Correct. good all the time because like people there's this thing called marketing <laughs> minsan may na market lang nila yung product to be like that but the cost of making that product it's so cheap sometimes so like we what we've always been advocating in our podcast you have to really learn how to assess a situation how to analyze it yeah ako naman ako naman on my end um i totally agree with that the hindi the most expensive is not always the best option um pero yon limiting also where i'm koripot in like for example food hindi ako koripot sa food mm-hmm. sa experiences hindi ako koripot especially when i travel Because for me, mm-hmm. ano eh, that's you're paying for memories, you're paying for experiences. But ako magiging koripot with myself. Mm-hmm. To me, mm-hmm. I know that I worked for it. Yon. So hindi ako magiging koripot chan. Saan ako nagiging koripot? Nagiging koripot ako sa iniisip ko tuloy kung saan ako koripot. Kasi hindi naman talaga ako koripot. I think ano, being wise <laughs> lang with money. For example, when ordering going out, like I don't, I think. If you go out to Philippines, you don't really go out every weekend. Yeah, oh, and also buying, ano, buying stuff. Na feeling ko mm-hmm. naman pwede ako makamura. Na hindi mm-hmm. ko kailangan ng branded. So for example, um, in my ah! house, mga VT merch mo, VTS merch mo. Hindi ay kuri po tako don. Oh, nga. Hindi rin tiba, hindi tayo bumibile. Yeah, yeah, I remember when we went to the concert. Ano naman yung concert? When you went to the concert and we look at the items, parang sinasabi pa natin, ano ba yan? Parang hindi siya kaganda. Makikita pa natin yun sa shopping. Parang oh, ganon. Oh, oh my gosh. So, oh my and gosh. you know, we love BTS. Don't get us wrong. I'm, but sometimes you just can't justify the price for the quality uh, of the product. Yeah. But yeah, um, sa akin, for example, dito, I posted yesterday that I made my own chandelier i bought it from shopee lang i think 1200 oh. lang siya you can check my story for that but yeah um yun being wise lang sa pagdating sa mga ganun Thank you guys for hanging out with us for another episode of Corner Life List. Let us know your thoughts by joining our community at facebook.com slash group slash Corner Life List Podcast and following us over at Corner Life List Podcast on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. And that's it. Anything else to say, bestie? Hmm. Find your bliss and money will follow. Yum.